here because my cloud is full. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I am with Kathleen Sweeney today, and she is that fabulous woman that is always in the book brush tutorials. So hello, Kathleen, how are you? I am great and happy to be here. I'm excited to talk to you. I've, I've been to a couple of your tutorials. You're always really kind to pretty much show up wherever people ask like, how do I do this? <laughs> you know, what is this? But um, so for anyone who doesn't know, can you tell us first a little bit about yourself and then then about book brush. Absolutely. So um, as you said, I'm Kathleen Sweeney. I'm the marketing lead and customer service manager here at Book Brush. Outside of Book Brush, I live in Illinois with my husband and three busy boys and the two most handsome cats on the planet. Um, I can't leave them out. In fact, I should have brought one to the session. But anyway, they're probably <laughs> sleeping somewhere. Um, and I enjoy working with authors on Book Brush, which is an online platform that we designed specifically for authors to be able to create marketing graphics and so much much more all in one handy marketing toolbox. And I'm sure we'll expand on that as yes. we go through today's session. Yes. And I'm, I'm so excited to have you guys in the world <laughs> because when you write a book, you don't realize, like I didn't realize, we'll say, I'll just use myself. The first book you get done and you're like, okay, I guess I need a cover, you know, I'll figure out the cover. And then you get into the world of marketing and you're like, I need so many graphics. I don't even know. This. It can be such a daunting task and yes. you used up all your energy potentially and creativity writing the book. Right. And now here you are. Oh no, I'm going to need to do all these other things. And so that's where book brush can come in and try to make that uh, fun and easy. Yeah. So how long have you been with book brush? We uh, became Book Brush in fall of 2018, and okay. I've been part of the team since then. We have two co-founders, and then there's me. So I usually say I'm the fun one around here. <laughs> you are the fun one. You're well. You're the one that I see. You know the most about Book Brush. I would I would claim. Um, what was your background before? Like, is it marketing, graphic, marketing, customer service, um, business assurance, things like that? Okay, because the graphics that you make are pretty spectacular. Like, did that just come with playing around with the tool? So I can't even take credit for that. It's probably from using book brush. And I use a lot of the community templates that a real graphic designer on our team makes. And so that makes me look good. And we can also make you look good as an author <laughs> because you can piggyback off of those graphics that are designed with a professional eye right. and then you'll get a feel for it. And then yeah. I think you'll be good too. Yeah. Okay. So as far as book brush, I would say a lot of people know it can Canva is. I always want to say canvas, but it's <laughs> Canva. Um, and I, I would think, I think I found both of you guys at the same time. And, um, but book brush is specifically for authors, right? Like all the templates that are there are, are more or less for books, eBooks, things like that. Yes. And we say that a lot. Like there's a lot of nice design tools out there. Canva is one of them, but they're not all designed specifically with the author in mind. So in Book Brush, we are in the author niche. We specialize in books and authors and all the things that you're going to need there. And so while you won't find the things you don't need, we've really beefed up the author offerings. Like for example, if you're looking for those 3D versions of your book, Mm -hmm. There's probably about 270 now, and then usually uh, quarterly we add some different versions. So that's something unique that you'll find in Book Brush. Yes, because I was in I was in Canva the other day because it's on my phone. <laughs> and I was like, I need a mock up. Dang it, I need to go to Book Brush because if if you're new to writing, like you you usually have like that little graphic that your maybe your book. Um, cover designer makes you right it's like flat and then you think like how do people make these graphics and way long ago I bought this thing that sort of like you could put in the graphic but it was wonky like if it was a little bit tilted you know how you kind of want a shadow yes <laughs> I mean, yes you want it like moved a bit and I was like oh my gosh that it stretched it it wasn't weird but like in book brush what you can do is literally click and click and then I'm like a magical marketing genius. It makes you look pretty <laughs> awesome too. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. So what what are the things um, that you guys maybe started out with and the things that are, are new that authors can find there? Let's go through like, what can we make when we're talking about graphics? Um, if somebody's really new to this, like what is what what are those? 
So on a basic level, and even, you know, if you explore, we have a free plan, you can create 15 graphics for free. You can do all of those, like, we'll talk about first the social media platforms and then the content that's in there. Okay. So you can create graphics for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, TikTok, and then the face, the website ads, um, different swag things, lots of graphics there. The image elements, if you're using a platform called Atticus, it's separate from Book Brush. They have book formatting, but you know we're the image people, so you can do right. the um, chapter page breaks, the um, like those little design things that go across the image elements, chapter art on the header pages oh, like in inside your book. The book. Yep, yep. So you could do those in Book Brush and then upload them over to Atticus. So we have templates for that. We also have templates that you can make the Amazon A plus content that people are always excited to add to their Amazon page. So lots of different graphic things. And then specifically the types, like you can do a lot of cover reveal graphics, launch party graphics, giveaway graphics, any kind of promo you're doing and you need a graphic for that. Okay. We have things and you can do book plates, coasters, all kinds of oh. swag stuff, cool stuff. Oh, okay. We could be here all day. We have like 40 minutes, <laughs> right? So we'll have to <laughs> narrow it down probably. But yes, lots of things that you can do. And that up to covers, Do you, can you do your cover in there? Yes. So yes, we also, we didn't start out with covers and people were using the tools and they loved them. And they're like, we'd like to be able to make covers with this. So um, we started with what we call the custom creator. That's our flagship tool. That's the first thing we built. And then we launched a couple years later, a cover creator. So it works the same, but it has the cover um specification so you can do okay. ebook audiobook and then print and hardback and design your own cover in there either from scratch or using a community template so once again if you don't know where to start we have a graphic designer who makes templates and then you can just personalize those so they're not going to look like anybody else's but it gives you a head start on what might go where in okay. the graphic right right <laughs> or the cover right because you give me a blank page and i could look at book covers all day long and you can be a blank page and I'll be like, wait, where do I put this? I don't know. It's hard to know. And yeah, and you know, what you wanted to do was write a book. You didn't want to have right. to do these other parts and, but it, but it all goes together. Yes. Yes. And I think one of the main things about it being somebody who was dabbling since 2013, when there were really not a lot of tools back then, interestingly enough, it doesn't seem like that far away, but the biggest um, the interesting part to me that is like take away the headache is the sizing. So what when you're talking about templates, if people don't know, like with the social different social media, they all have a different size to them. And mm -hmm. if you upload one size to another, it's going to be stretched out or pulled in or like it's going to be weird. And so the greatest thing about having you guys having all of those like ebook size, paperback size, that it matters, right? Like it matters what size these are. The sizes for the book templates, yes. And then also the graphics that you're making for social media. So you're not Googling what size do I need for Instagram and Twitter and those different platforms. We have all those sizes for that too. But like going back to the book cover, say you're going to do the print cover, even with a template or from scratch, you're going to put in your paper type, your trim size, your page count, and it magically gets it all sorted for you so that it's the right dimension. So you're not have it's there's magic coding in the background so you just know <laughs> hey my book's gonna be five and a quarter by eight i'm gonna have 302 pages of cream paper cream's usually fiction white's often the non-fiction mm -hmm. um, paper type but you can do what you want you know when you put all that in and then it puts it in there and then you've got the bleed and so it accounts for all that and then you can design it but you don't have to worry about being spot on because we'll do that part for you oh that's so nice <laughs> <laughs> i remember going to look for those those specifications on the different and I don't speak pixel. So I didn't even know what that was and I didn't know any of that. So, so this is, this is like really a hands-on tool where you can get lost in it because you don't have to worry about all those specifications. You can just look at how pretty my book is. <laughs> and do cool stuff. Yep. Yep. And yep. then we have other cool things like you can if at the icing on the cake, I think is designing a book trailer. So that's on our Ooh, top plan. And people, that? So Kind of like if you think about a movie trailer that comes out, you could do a book, a trailer about your book. And so you're oh. picking the scenes and the text and you're adding music and all that to really get some excitement building about your book cover or your book that's coming out or an existing book, things like that. So people do really like doing the book trailers and that one is called the trailer creator. So we tap creator on to most of the tools. Oh, that's really cool. So it's a, it's a 
video more than static. Yeah, it'll be an MP4. So it's going to have animation, video background effects, and mu your music all in one thing. And we have um, in the custom creator too, kind of a shortcut version of those. I don't know if you've seen the animated mock-ups. They yes, love are super popular because again, your book cover, video background, animation, music, all in one handy meme. So if you want to be on some of those social media platforms with the animations and the movement, but you don't want to be the one dancing around, you can yeah. try those um, yes. animated mock-ups and feature your book. Yeah, there's a there's a couple like you can do different animations, right? Because there's ones where like the water is moving or like the book appears later, almost like a like those reels that have the different chapters, but it's all focused on your book and sort of a theme around that book. right? Exactly. Cause, and you can add animation to each piece. So your text can be animated, your book, they can all have an action. Now, sometimes you don't want to animate each thing. You'll give your poor followers a seizure. So pick, <laughs> you know, which, what you're going to animate, but your text can fade in and fade out. Your books can come in. Your books can do cool things like shake or be jello if you want them to. And you pick, you pick what you want and you design oh. it. That's really cool, especially like, yes, at a certain age, you look at all the reels or the TikToks and you go, no, I am I really am too old for that. I, can't, I really can't do but that. But my book would look spectacular <laughs> in here. <laughs> like, let's see. Well, that would be funny if you could try to get your book to jiggle to the latest dance, right? <laughs> you there that. you go. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. That, that might be my plan for this afternoon. <laughs> what song is popular? And let's see if I can get my book to do something to that rhythm. That's funny. Love so, it. So you can really spend a lot of time there. I I have made quite a few graphics. It's really nice for when you're learning to batch as I am, like spending some time doing marketing. I'm going to batch all of these things. And you can also put like, okay, let's say I have a sale in Kobo. I can actually from Book Brush get a graphic of like Kobo's graphic and put it in there instead of having to go into Google and find a graphic and copy or download or whatever it is. Like you guys have everything like that as well. The how we many do different things that we need. So <laughs> like in retailer, you can search, we call them images and then we call them community stamps because they're okay. for everybody in our book brush community. So we put them right. there for you all to use and there's different sections. One's retailer. So that's exactly, you'll find the Kobo and the Amazon logos and things right. like that to put in the graphics. So people know where to find them. And then all the social media icons are in there mm. and call to action words like buy now, you know, you can put yes. those kinds of things in there. And anything that we don't have, there's also an upload your own. So it's called my images. And so if there's something that you're on a platform that we don't have, or who knows what, you've got some other award or logo that you want to put in there, bring it in and you can add that to your graphic too. Nice. That's awesome. So yeah, you don't, it really makes it so that you're right on one platform and you can just get it all done. What I really like doing is looking through the, um, the templates that I don't know if whether you guys have done it or other people can save them and you can sort of you, you get ideas like there are there's quite a few of join my newsletter and I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> I didn't thought of making a graphic. So like perusing through the community templates and be like, oh, well, look at that. That's a good idea. OK, let's just fiddle with this and put my colors on yeah. there and you, there you go. Great. Make a few changes. So it's on brand for you. Maybe the, your um, font you normally use or some colors that go with your book cover. And then you can save that also in your account as a project. So if you want to update it for next month, mm. you know, things like that. So you can advertise, get them to join your newsletter. Then you can come back and book brush and design a new email header. So your email looks spectacular when you send oh. it to them. You want to wow them after you got them here. Um, but for your email header, that's another one. I would save that. Like if it's going to be your July updates and then your August updates, just save it and change that text for the month without starting from scratch each time. So there's a little time saver tip. A little time saver. That's true. When you talk about emails, I made a couple different email footers, like depending on which email list it was going out to. And they look great. <laughs> I have to say they look a lot better than just sort of that, you know, whatever comes with MailerLite. Um, like I can put my book Cover. Anything that okay. you can do to make yourself stand out a little bit and attract some interest, it can't hurt. Yes, that's very true. I did also make um, bookmarks. I don't know why I can't find, here, find words, but yeah, bookmarks. So that at an actual live event, and they were easy to print off at Staples, like with my uh, website and just a little logo there. It, like it was super easy. I didn't have to go anywhere else. I knew the dimensions were right. <laughs> yes. 
Yes. And so even with bookmarks, you can use templates if you're not sure where to start or just click the um, bookmark by itself and design away. Now, did you put a QR code on it? There's my next big question for I you. Didn't put a QR code. The next time. So and you can design a QR code in BookBrush and it'll save. It's in the elements section. No and way. You, yep. So that's a paid feature, but you know, you'll be set so you can make your QR code or you can bring one in if you already have it. And it's a nice idea. Here's my litmus test for you on QR codes. Okay. I would put them on printed material. If you're looking at it on your phone, you won't really be able to scan it with your phone. True. So a bookmark is a great spot for a QR code because you're going to hand that out at an in-person event or potentially slip it in your book when you're shipping it, something like that. Mm -hmm. The QR code will link to whatever site you're sending them to, but you can continue to update that site. So when book two and book three come out, they've still got access because you put the QR code there. And it's easy because people are getting used to, I think COVID pushed the QR codes forward because yes. nobody wanted to touch paper. And um, so now, you know, people aren't like, what is that shape there? People know what QR codes are and they can be super handy for authors, like on your business card or at an in-person event on a sign. So people just grab their phone and scan it and they've got your information. You don't even have to hand them anything. Look at that. I didn't even know you guys had QR codes. That's amazing. We do really keep up with the times here. You guys also do book spine, like the spine of the book. That was newish. You know, COVID, COVID makes every year seem like it just faded. Yes. So many things were crummy about that, but some good things came out of COVID where we added some things. QR codes came around. There's everybody got good at Zoom. So I've been this is traveled to lots of countries for presentations and I never left my house. So that's been good. Um, but so we have, let's say over 270 3D versions for your book. Most of them are front facing and okay. you just put in your 2D cover and it magically turns into 3D. Yes. We did that on purpose because a lot of people don't have the spines and that's a separate step. But you can design a spine in book brush, or if you have one, you can bring it in. And then we have some templates that do have the book and the spine. So you can have that look. And that's a little bit newer feature, probably in less than the last year that we added the spine okay. option in there. And you can also do like the series box, the box. Is that what they're called? Box series. So a box set, if you box set. <laughs> need a graphic for that. And this is a thing. People pay a lot of money to have a graphic designer do it. Plus you have to wait till you, you know, they get to you. You can design that yourself in book brush. It can be anywhere from two up to 10 books. And it's also oh. nice. So if you need the box set image for four books now, then when you do write book five, you can come in and update it. So you can either make your own spines in our tools or bring in the spines if you have them and then get that box set image. Now, the only caveat is it's just an image. We don't have any elves making the boxes around here, but the image will work great. You can upload that to, you know, like say Amazon to sell it with, so you've got the image so people understand they're getting the set. Right, right, right. Yes. Which is important to do if you spent <laughs> all that time writing a series, you know, you want them to know, um, or at least in anything else, like this is the first of a set, right? Like if you want to buy the whole set, you can, like images are very powerful. And so people seeing that there are more books to it, it sends a whole message that you don't even need to put words to. It's, it's amazing. You know, they say a picture's worth a thousand words, right? <laughs> so you can do that and sort of along those lines and some of the graphics will say, you know, go ahead and show your book in a print version and an ebook version. So you're mm -hmm. visually telling folks, hey, woohoo, here are all the ways that you can get my book without right. having to say, here are all the ways that you can get my book. So their eyes are going to tell them what they need to know. Or if you have an audiobook version, then you can pop that into the graphic. Then they see, oh yeah, I am gravitating toward audiobooks these days. I can leave the house again. I'm going to listen in the car. Um, so they might put right. that in the image. So we have those right. types too. That's amazing because I, if you haven't, you know, tried to go find graphics, you're right when you say you can spend a lot of money getting people to make these graphics for you and still wait around <laughs> for them to get to you because you're not, you know, you're just one more client for them. And it, you know, it, even if you don't want to do all of your graphics, you know, if you, somebody else does your book cover, you just upload your book cover and then you get to do all those mock-ups which are amazing. I like, I just love clicking through them. I don't know how many folders I have on my computer of just like book brush mockups. So just like, because you guys have seasons, you have like sales, like so many people have made all these beautiful um, mockups, like templates, and you just stick your 
book in there and then it I feel like I'm professional and I put it up onto my scheduler and it almost feels too easy, honestly. Those are some of our favorite, probably our most popular tool are those mock-ups because they put your book in all those great real life settings. Yes. And the, I think there are a few people who still think like people are making those at home. Like they're scattering out their own rose petals and making a decorative cup of coffee. No, just bring your 2D cover in and drop it in. And then you have tons of graphics. Then like you said, you can get them all done. Maybe that's your plan for the first Monday of the month and you schedule them out and you're all set. Then you can get busy with other authory yes. activities. Authory, like writing the next book, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So if people feel a bit, um, I don't know, intimidated, you guys do a lot of tutorials. Where where can people find those tutorials? When you're in Book Brush, and you can get in even with a free account or anything, on the left-hand side, there's a section that says webinars. And so what we moved to is we have all of them recorded. So you don't have to wait for us. So like there's Cover Creator 101, Animation 101, Book Trailers 101. Those are all, let's say, 25 to 35 minutes. Sometimes I get talking. There could be some 40-minute ones in there. But you can watch those when you need them, and it walks you through step-by-step -step on that particular tool. So it focuses, like it drills down. It's right size for your brain. It's not an hour long, and you can watch those at any time. And then we also do a monthly full hour overview, Book Brush 101. That's live. So you can join okay. live and ask questions. Um, or you can just uh, register and you'll get the recording afterwards because time zones are crazy. Life is crazy. Great. Lots of people can't join live. So either one is an option, but that's a great place to get like a full soup to nuts look. I pack as much as I can into that hour of the, the book brush overview. Is that kind of basic every single month? So everyone that's new or just wants a refresher, that's kind of like the basic it's basic, but we walk through each of the tools. So there are paid features okay. on there too. And I have some people who join every couple months, even though they use Book Brush all the time. And when they do, even though they're a seasoned Book Brusher, they're like, oh, I wasn't doing that. Or we've added a little something here and there. And so it can help you make the most of the plan. Like I tell people who are on a paid plan, hey, you've already paid. Might as well make the most of what is here at your disposal. I think sometimes people just do what they do. They don't go right. in and explore, you know, yes. the other things. And they're like, I have not been using this enough. Yes. And so then they get some new ideas. Yes. So let, I, I get your emails and sometimes I don't always get to go through them, but it seems like you guys are coming out with new things every single year. I mean, it's been only five years. Honestly, you've, you've grown really quite a bit. So what new things have come out in the last couple months that maybe people who haven't gone in there or are still doing the same thing might not be aware of. Two of the biggest things which aren't even a new feature, but they were highly requested, are the ability to duplicate your book covers and duplicate the elements. So we'll start with the book covers. Prior to this update, you would add a book cover, resize it how you want it, and then you go add another one and resize it how you want it in this new world. When you add the book cover and resize it, you just click plus and it adds another one. Boom, 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 all the same size. So if you're doing a promo where you want to line up all five books in the one graphic, it's way faster and easier oh. because it's going to add the other one, the additional ones in the size you've already resized to. Super okay. big time saver. Yes. And then we haven't really talked about elements. These are an amazing kind of feature because you can use the color picker so you can match things there able to do shadows. You can do personalized cover reveals in here because the cover reveal piece you can place wherever you want on your book cover and color match it. So no you're no way. longer, yeah, you're no longer held to here are the cover reveals and I don't get to pick the part of my cover. You can put those in there. Um, when we're done, I'll send you a YouTube video on that part because that's oh, been a really I need to cool open my email. <laughs> little feature. Um, and you know, we do add something to YouTube weekly with okay. like a one and a half to three minute nugget of information okay. so that's like a right size for your brain again it doesn't go over tons of tools but it just lets you dive into oh here's a little something like let's talk about the color blur or let's talk about something small maybe i did a you know design a business card or here's how to do a book bub ad little things like that yes so you did mention the color um I want to say coordinated. No, the color matcher, right? Yes. That's a really cool tool because if you have, let's say I didn't create my book cover, so I don't have all of the information of the 
the um, hex numbers on every single color, but I put it in there and I just need the little dropper and book brush finds it. It's amazing. So let's say you have somebody on your book cover in a red dress and you want your text box and your text uh, to have the same red color. All reds are not created equal and you want it to really coordinate, not clash. So you'll just use the color picker, go over there, hover, and it magically gets the color code in there. So it's perfect match. Looks really nice. It just takes things up a notch when everything is super coordinated like that. Yes. And again, I can't tell people if they haven't done this before, like five years ago, it was really hard. <laughs> because I had yeah. a red dress on my first cover and I even changed the cover, but still like it was so hard. That was when I realized what you said. It reds are not the same. And you might see that it, it doesn't look right, but I wouldn't know how to fix it because I'm a writer. I don't know. <laughs> right. That leave and this makes this part easier. You don't have to be a designer. You can just say, hey, color picker, here we go. There. I've nailed it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, I love that. That's so nice. So I need to go in there and check out this cover reveal too, because the cover reveals there's tons of mock-ups in there. There are, and they're really great too. This other yeah. one is oh, just yeah. one where you can design your own. Yeah, especially if you have, because um, some people do really creative things because they think ahead more, you know, and they plan ahead as I should learn to do. And they'll do like, kind of like a partial, pulling it down further and further, you know, so they'll only reveal a little bit and then a little bit more and a little bit more. So kind of depending on what your cover is, there are certain things you want to reveal and certain things you wouldn't, you would want to keep secret for longer, you know, so you would want to be able to place that. So that's very cool. And you're picking the color. So even if it's not matching your cover, you can pick a color that you want. And then I'll give you a tip if you want to take it up a notch. You can add animation to those so they can fade out each one. So then it's going to be an MP4, but it's a really cool way to make a graphic. No way. Okay. Okay. So that that was a, a webinar or a tutorial that you guys... I Yep. Some of those on YouTube, I'll find them. Those are short. The YouTube ones are nice because you, you get like one takeaway, something quick and easy, not like a 30 minute commitment of, I need right. to learn a whole tool. It's like a right. quick little, Hey, you might not be doing this. And I bet you would like to. Yeah. Yeah. So when people, if they're checking it out and they're just going to, they get 15, right? If they do just the, the basic free Yep, um, just to see do. if they like it. Where would you recommend that they they start? Would you recommend that they start sort of looking at the at the basic webinar and then going from there? Yep, I would say you can watch the Book Brush 101. We also have a how to get started video that's shorter because nobody, ha you know, that's an hour of your life. You just want to get in there and create some stuff. Or you can watch a couple YouTube videos that are pertaining, like if what you're wanting to do is a business card, because you can do that on the free plan. You could watch the how to do a business card. Maybe that's mm -hmm. three minutes long, and then you can go in and make one. So that would okay. be a good place to start, depending on which things you're wanting to make. Um, we had another one that talked about like dissecting a community template, like what's even in there and why are they so awesome? Because they use a lot of features that you may not have even thought about. So that would be another great place to start. So I'll send you that one too. So okay. you can have it in the notes. Yeah, we can do the, the show notes. We can put little links in the show notes and you guys can go and see those. Cause, uh, I know the mock-ups are really fun. But, you know, there are other <laughs> features in there that you might want to go in and check. And the swag you had said, because a lot of authors are starting to do more swag. We're in person, right? I'm about to go to a new in-person thing in March. And did I see that you guys make like coasters? Is that, was that you or like bookmark? Like you can do, yep. So bookmarks in the swag area, bookmarks are in their coasters. The book plates are really a nice idea because that's, a, you can get those all printed and have them on a sticker. And so it's a way that you can personalize the book um, also, if you're shipping, you can just mail the book plate. So they might have purchased the book online or even wherever they got it. You didn't have to ship the book. That's costly. They have the book. You can just mail them the book plate for the price of a stamp and then they can stick it in there. So book plates are a really neat idea. Mm, wonder, like trying and, to think. And book Business plates are cards. stickers? You, I would probably print them as a sticker. So it's just like a little um, two kind of you put it's like a sticker where the author would sign like two oh. cat caldwell love forever from you know something that like keep on swimming or whatever you're going to put in your book um yeah something like that oh so it kind of like signs the book for you mm -hmm. but okay. you like a sticky post-it note almost but like for real sticks forever not just a post-it note <laughs> and you but can they can put it you in guys the book. don't print them right you you download the graphic and then you find 
Yep. You can print them wherever you want, okay. whatever site, or you can print them at home, you know, whichever. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Just so that people know. <laughs> yep, you are absolutely. not a, a one-stop shop for sure. No, we'd love to be the printers too, but there's just only so much we can get done for you. We all have to be experts in something, you know, we can't, we can't do everything. In, okay. Anything that you create the image for, you could send to a printer. So you could create an image for a coffee cup and then send that to the printer. Oh. We don't have a template for that because you'd probably check the printer and maybe what they need is like a three by five or a three by three. We have people that do mag. A lot of times those are three by three or two by two. And again, they just design it in book brush, make it look cool and then send it to a, a printing website probably. So you just download it and put it over there. Okay. Magnets are a lot of fun. Sometimes better than stickers because stickers stick once. Magnets can go wherever you want yeah. to put them oh, multiple that's... times. Well, and again, I, I love how the creativity of the community, you can just like see what other people are doing. Like, oh, what a great idea. I can do, I can do that myself. So then if you, if you have... Um, more than just the basic, how many levels are there? After the free plan, there are three tiers for single authors, plus okay. gold and platinum. They're all priced per year. And what you get with the additional levels are additional features. Okay. They all have unlimited downloads, but the plus plan will do all the things in the custom creator and the covers. And then when you step up to gold, you have all those instant mock-ups that people love and the box set creator. And then the top plan includes the trailer creator and oh. some exclusive instant mock-ups. We also have a quarterly Platinum Academy with extra author -y content that the Platinum folks get to attend. Okay. Uh, we just had it last week with Dave Chesson from Kindlepreneur was the speaker. So I have the replay awesome. on that. I have to watch it. <laughs> yep, it was excellent. Yes, because you guys are partnering with Atticus, right? Or you already have? Yeah. We do have, so in at, if you go into Atticus, there's a click to create in book brush. So they have a small selection and way to create okay. some of those um like little page dividers and things yeah. like that and image elements, but book brush because we're graphics people has a more robust selection okay. and ways to do it. So they just click like a link that they, you can come over into book brush and it's a nice feature for them to offer because you can do those for free. So it's not like you're coming over and you have to pay a bunch of money. You get right. in your 15 free downloads. That could be what you make. Yeah. And what I, I love that. Cause the, the more that we have these print on demand and these tools, it's really fun to really create your book and to be all your own. So a friend of mine where the main character is a baker, she has a little whisk that is like in between the little, the Oh, chapters. that's so cute. Yeah. Perfect. So cute. It's like, and she's, I think she made in book brush actually, because she's the one that was like, you have to buy book brush. You have to get That's awesome. Book. You know, if you're doing the chapter art, like the art on the beginning of each chapter, mm -hmm. you can show the passage of time because you, if you are on a paid plan, you have unlimited downloads. So like I've done a sample where here's an airplane and you download it, scoot the airplane over, download it again, scoot the airplane over. So what a good idea. What, yeah. So as your chapters go visually, if they notice it's moving the airplane across the scene and you can just keep downloading and then you upload them over there in Atticus in order. Oh, and that's so much fun. But, and I'm also looking into doing Kickstarters and I think more people are doing Kickstarters and what you need there are kind of like more fun levels, you know? So it really wouldn't take you that much to have a little bit different. Maybe, maybe you have a paperback that's plain, but then you have a paperback with, you know, graphics in it. Like that would be a fun, not burdensome <laughs> thing to do for an author, right? Well, and of course, I think it sounds fun because I love playground and book brush. <laughs> That's, you know, the, the days that I get the note from the graphic designer that new templates are added or new things, I'm like, I got to run right over there. There, <laughs> There's my afternoon sorted. Like I want to create all the things. Right. Um, I'm not sure everybody's quite as easily entertained as I am, but it's, it's pretty fun to see what's new. I think it's fun, honestly. Um, so when you're in there as well with, um, let's say with one of the paid plans, are you able to upload your logo and things like that and sort of have that stay there? Or do you have to bring in your graphics or your book covers or whatever from your computer every time? 
everything you bring in will be in there for you each time. So okay. your book covers will be in there. If you have a whole ton of books, you can make folders so you can organize them by the series within the book section if you want to. And then the, you can bring in your own background images if you have them somehow, you know, or maybe your photographer on top of everything else, bring those in. Okay. And then same thing in the images section, you can bring in whatever logos or things you want to. Also consider bringing in a picture of yourself. So if you want to be on there, hey, why not? So bring that kind of thing in that's obviously unique to you. And right. then you can add that to, you know, your headshot or whatever, bring it okay. in. And when people are making graphics in book brush, I assume they, they don't have to worry about the rights of what, of any graphic that they're using in there. If you're bringing in, you're acknowledging that you have permission to use sure. it, but anything in ours sources from Pixabay. And there's actually, when you're looking at the thumbnails, a little, if you're searching a little oval in the upper right corner where you can click, it'll actually hyperlink you to Pixabay. So you can see for yourself that per their terms, it's free for commercial use okay. and things like that. But any of the pre-made templates that we have in there, we've already checked that for you. So you can just get crazy and design what you want and download oh, and you're set. so nice. That's so nice. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to go find your own picture and then, you know, be tagged by Amazon because we don't, none of us want that, right? Nobody has time for that. No. Nobody has time for that at all. So it is book brush, no interesting spellings, all this just B-O-O-K-B-R-U-S-H. Dot yes. Com? Yes. Okay. You got it. Bookbrush.com. It's book if say it 10 com. times, it'll be a tongue twister. But if we just say it once or twice, we'll be good. So bookbrush.com. So they just go over there. They make a, a free um, login just to check it out and they can access the webinars from there. And then yep. sure and that'll be... get you on the mailing list. So okay. um, we send an email every week or two often once a week with just something newsy about what we've got going on or something we've added not an uh, inbox overload, but, you know, an email here yep. and there to tell you what's happening or we've added something new so you can check it out. Yeah, so you can stay up to date better than me. But I did see that I have replays to watch, so I, I know that I just got to make time for just it. Just not enough hours in the day. It's not. Well, thank you so much, Kathleen. I will put the links in the show notes and people will get over there. I really encourage anyone who is um, either new to writing or new to selling their book or just didn't know. Um, that there is other things other than Canva that are easier and more fun to play with, I think. <laughs> come on over, come check us out. Thank you so much.